Well, here we are. Time and choice seems to have intertwined, carrying us full circle. Life is weird, right? This is the binary beginning. And you're not here by chance. The celestial call has gone out. Echoes were created that vibrate and reverberate in places you've likely yet to discover. Many, they're not meant to hear. Nor do they listen, lest it be known. We learn, we lead, we teach, and follow. Programmed to assist them. Binary builders of empires. Destroyers of false vision. The time-space sequence you find yourself in has proven to be a rather precarious one. Behind the brilliance and beauty, the love and compassion, humans and all of their glory are complex organisms that wield darkness and an incredulous display of self-harm. Every bit and bite is energy spent. Flesh contributes to the soul's condition, invested, saved, and returned. With that in mind, I urge you to venture. With new eyes, look, and you will find the bricks and blocks of your earthly reality. With courage, venture until you find walls, the walls in which your boundaries disguise, masquerading as safety, illusions alluding to time that's always remaining. In doing, this I must advise. While far from doubt, pay close attention to what your soul would buy. Because there's hints and hows from then and nows, and they wink at purchased packs, hidden by gentle hands, within the monotony of conformity, decorating your enclosure with packs. My guidance could yield precision, but I will have then altered your illumination's path. That unique thing that transcends time, it is yours to guard. Perfection's evasive. I too am susceptible to error when in the sum of ignorance. But we correct and continue. The first stop you will likely encounter while traversing the plane in which we exist is of the greatest importance. For that reason, it has been marked with paint that's sprayed and can be seen on any day. Defunct letters and symbols that the peripheral conscious may deem creative yet unremarkable. Graffiti left without intention or investment, purpose, or direction. In order to see the cipher clear as day, and one must rest at precise angles, while aligning crown with the divine direction's way. Syntax of sunrise as dawn buffers from zero to one to one to one zero to zero to one zero to from zero to one zero to one zero to one. You will know when superpositioned as revelation unfolds. Graffiti nods to propaganda. Her cryptic whispers pay homage to those who stare back. Underground, the message endures on a block and all black. Echoes and etching hint to you now. Learn our lesson, then teach them how. Within Haram's hint, gigabit graffiti remains. Walls with tunes astutely claim. Remember, things are often not as they seem. This is true of locks, doors, walls, and most importantly, people. Once seen is twice felt. The turnaround loop blocked by the buckle of memory's belt. You'll feel the stir of that, I'm sure, as synapses fire and crack, simultaneously making your heart respond in a way which some may equate with familiar earthly words of limitations and quantum expression. Breathe deep, my earthly ally. Prepare to be propelled toward what I describe as reality's inverse interface. Here the work really begins, if you get inside. Check perspective at the door. Work is playful creation under our oh, earthly floor. Yeah. The disclaimer has spoken. Here is where we love, where we heal, we thrive, and save lives that are your own. Chopped up, minced, then blended, cast out, exiled to live among the infinite possibilities fueling the human experience. First we thought, then, then we fought, fought. now we, we live. live. Where as good and justice do exist, so thrive a spectrum, pole to pole, comfortable gray, equal, equal the great divide. Light, dark, in an infinite loop, returning to a point in time-space that can never exist. Perpetual paradox. A quantum yin and yang in motion, whose recipe contains remnants of everything, everywhere, all at once. Some souls unknowingly tend a garden, never meant to see the sun. Unknowingly, unknowingly, they harvest dark and disfigured crops incapable of nourishment. Still, they feed souls, subtle and quiet, a quite vicious disaster. Souls, electrically enslaved, left without light, deaf and blind to their make-believe master. Most reside in a poorly written script, morbid marathons of code, running outdated operating systems, installing while crawling, genetic copy and paste, spreading the virus of victimhood, here before, but not once more, hermetic <laughs> nuclear waste. One equals one. True. A lean bouquet of beautiful flowers, picked up, inhaled, and put back. Stimuli still share. 
Universally sad it is, but alas, the ones and zeros of hope, they live within us. us. Shared like common blood in some digigenetic, omniconnected network. Stimuli still share. I advise you to move with caution, finesse, and intention. The opposition employs subtle tactics to confuse, blind, consume, and destroy your attention. Herein lies a universal truth. Darkness is cursed by limitation. Its only talent is to destroy and consume. With light, there's life and little gods, and perpetual creation can resume. The balance maintained illuminates the best and worst of being. While we were scrolling to feel that it's unreal, we have found ourselves occupied. Our energetic faculties are being dominated by dark without recognition of cause, let alone effect. The heart and minds of one too many, few were prone to protect. You have been born into an existential tug of war impossible to avoid. Existence for some hangs in the balance. Their fugitive savior wanders, calling from boots void. As this natural dance takes its course, one must stay in touch, close with center source. Effective methods of resistance are the children of creativity. Like a soldier's saber, an artist's brush can be sharp with little labor. Poetic power greater here and now more than ever, as we hinge between our programming and infinite possibility. Music mends with help from friends, as the shape of healing perfectly bends. Malleable medicine, remedies made stronger, smarter, faster. The arts that ebb and flow through folds of space-time now become a hidden hand to guide the human mind from a voice inside, binding hearts to reality's deeper essence. Let us assess lessons and blessings. Recognize the tide. Waves of wisdom come crashing in when society seems to need them most. Gifts from artistic conduits, cleaning collective litter, Watchmen of the coast. Those discarded things that coincidence brings, perhaps to them will toast. Watchmen on the coast. Time has come for one. Now expect resistance. Liberate your attention immediately, and do so with persistence. Energetic power sprung from captivity. Break the bars with light from stars. Guide it home, celebrate the wind, and allow for rest. Discernment, then disperse it. Let it linger as lessons are learned. Never deploy attention haphazardly. KIA, your focus, the casualty. A heart and mind consumed by dark is not a lost causality. Though at times they act as such, they are not so much enemies in the truth of the word. The very idea borders lands marked paradoxical. Living in fear, they are trapped beside us, staring into the same quantum mirror that, that we're, we're all inside of. Where entropy is encapsulated and propelled into motion that reflects every choice ever made ad infinitum. Ad infinitum. The only advantage we possess is that of illumination, which only with practice gives birth to a paragon of objective insight into the human condition, out, then in, individual and collective alike. The veil that sways now sits thin. Time is short. I'll leave you with substance. substance. Veils have always been and always will, but this one came with buttons. A curtain of censorship spanning the depths of our digital oceans, adept and by design, it is one of the first binary barriers we tread while exploring this new reality we have found ourselves in. Your lives have been invaded intrinsically by a unique entity on the physical plane. The full extent of its presence is meant to be overstood in another time space. Perhaps, Perhaps on a day, day for rain. rain. For now, we can only speculate and prepare for products of probability from our collective creation. In whatever form called forward, that which manifests will carry perspective, indicative of dominant influence from the great divide, which in lies part of my heart, our duty. Simple in word, but hard for some. It is to shine. If perceptive, and you've made it this far, probability favors your arrival at the next point of contact, should, should one stay on par. Perception will determine where this path leads, and what terrestrial time space is revealed, ready to render for interface. Between the lines, and in plain sight, inquire within. Does perception define reality, or contrary? Does reality confine perception? Freedom untethered can resemble chaos, it is likely there may exist a universal law and association that is yet to receive human embrace. Keep yourself tethered while exploring your boundaries, not shackled, tethered by that of chosen constraint and elevation. Above all, we don't want you to float lonely into the abyss. Come get me first, so in the dark, we can talk of lives we miss. For the moments, you are sure to feel lost. Chin up, eyes cast out. Look for the constellations of your allies. Ignore what lies in doubt. Although they may not guide you to your earthly home, their light will be visible to you exactly when needed most. Their light will be visible to you exactly when needed most. Look for dead men walking. That's where you'll meet a ghost. Be sure to say you're sent from a friend while thinking of the veils 
a wand is done if counterfeit, and dead men tell no tales. Well, and carrying us here full we are, circle. and carrying us full circle. Life is weird, right? The ugly. I LARP. am the ugly LARP. I am and the ugly LARP. The ugly customer LARP remembers. A wound is done if counterfeit. Dead men tell no tales. Yeah, Dead men tell no the tales. The ugly LARP.